Hi, this is Janice from ScrappyCutsOnline.com or just so ScrappyCuts.com. Today I want to show you the all-in-one Faber box that I've created. This isn't my original idea, but I thought it was such a cool item that I wanted to make it into a cutting file and then I wanted to to tweak it and make it more unique. This particular box is a Valentine's Day box. I filled this box with candy kisses and as you can see it holds quite a lot. It is about two and a half inches cubed. In this video I'll be working on two different boxes, the Valentine and the Wedding. This is the Wedding Box. After cutting and scoring the paper I wanted to emboss the bottom half of the box. To do this I used my cuddle bug. You can only emboss one half of the box at one time, so make sure the folder that you choose to use is one that doesn't matter what direction you put it, so you won't have the direction going up and then some going down or embossed and debossed. You won't be able to get away from embossing the bottom of the box because of the size of the paper and then take it out and turn it over to make so you can do the other half. This is how the box is going to look. It really is pretty. Now this is the Valentine's box and what I wanted to do is cover all of windows with transparency. You could use transparency or you could use a contrasting color to cover up the windows so that your goodies are you can't see the goodies inside of the box. I just use my regular ATG gun to attach the transparencies and you can cut the transparencies using your cutting machine because those files are also included in this in this project. I wanted the hearts in the lid portion of the box to be seen better so I cut out contrasting paper to put behind the hearts. These rectangular pieces are also included in the project so you don't have to second guess or measure for those either. This Valentine's box was embossed with this like this dotted Swiss cuddle bug folder. It looks really cute. There you can see the dotted Swiss better now. Now it's time to start putting the box together. I like to lay the the box flat and then fold over one side and then the other so it meets in the middle the similar to a gate folded card and that way I can tell that the box is going to be pretty much symmetrical when you fold it. I use heavy duty tape or I use the quick drying glue. You've seen me use this glue if you watched my other videos and I really like this glue and it, it's pretty strong and it dries pretty quick. So I put it together, I hold it together until it's dry. So now it's time to put the box together, kind of see what it looks like. See the lid pops down and you can see the hearts, how pretty they look now. And you can also see the transparent windows. So to put the bottom together, the first thing you do is, I will add a little bit glue to that one tab. Fold down the square side and then fold down each of the other sides that has the little hook in it and put it underneath the square and then you insert the the part that looks like a baby bottle into the but underneath the square so that holds it together you notice I have not attached the two ends of the lid portion of the box together yet this way it kind of spreads a little bit so I can put my fingers down and give some pressure on that bottom flap so to make sure that it's adhered really good. And then the last thing is to push the lid down and attach it together. And then the last part of this Valentine box is I want to add a little bit of trim around each one of those hearts. I use my Xyron sticking sticker machine to add adhesive to the back of the hearts after I've inserted all of the pieces into the sticker machine I turn it upside down and push really hard, rub it really hard to make sure that the adhesive adheres really good to the, to the paper. 
and then adding it to the box really sets it off looking nice. These scalloped hearts are also included in the file. Now your box is basically finished. You can open it up, fill it with any kind of goodie that you want, and then take some ribbon, tie it around it, tie it in a bow. I'm not the best bow maker, but I try. And so in this one I did make a bow. I used that organdy ribbon. It looked really pretty on it. And then I used some of the leftover hearts from the, the, from the box to make a hang tag. And there it is. It's really cute. I was really pleased with the way this turned out. So you can put it any which way. There's hearts on all four sides. The wedding box is completed the same way as the Valentine box is completed. The only difference is I did not use a contrasting color behind the hearts on the lid portion. I wanted this box to be a little bit more elegant looking and so I used liquid pearls made by Ranger to make faux pearls around the hearts as well as around the lid. I really like using liquid pearls because it leaves such a nice finish on your project. Look how pretty it is starting to look around those hearts. The paper I used on the wedding box is a pearlized paper. It was pearlized on one side but not the other. So it did give enough contrast to, to make a difference in the lid portion and the box portion. You can also use any kind of contrasting paper. The next box that I did, the Valentine box, was made from a pink paper with a white back. And so when you fold it over the lid, the lid is white, but the box is pink. And there it is. It's pretty much complete. Lifts up very nicely. It looks, oh, it looks so pretty. The pearlized lid and the pearlized decorated hearts and then the embossed bottom it's just very elegant it would look beautiful on a table a great little keepsake box to give to a bride at her wedding shower or on her wedding day give to for an, a golden anniversary or any kind of anniversary present Put a little bride and groom on top, some bells, doves, little rings. In this case, I put a bow, and I also used one of the leftover hearts for a hang tag. And there you go. There's the Valentine box and the wedding box. And here's the sample of the pink box I mentioned earlier. Coming up is going to be a baby box. A baby boy, it's a boy, and it's a girl box. So stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you learned some different techniques and got lots of ideas. Bye!